Okay, so in this video, I wanna show you how to check the chainsaw's engine internally, specifically the barrel and piston for any damage without actually removing the pot or the piston. Welcome to the Repair Specialist channel because knowledge is power. So let's get to it. Now this procedure does of course take some removal of some parts, but of course not to the level it would do if we were to actually strip the engine and check the barrel and piston that way. And so what's the reason for doing this? Well, a chainsaw being a two-stroke, they can be quite susceptible to scoring marks on the piston and the barrel, which obviously causes damage to both components as well as the piston ring. And if that's the case, we're not going to get the correct amount of compression that we should have. And the engine, of course, isn't going to run the way it should. So a fairly quick check will tell us whether or not we do have damage within the barrel and piston itself. But that's all this video is about. It's about checking the barrel and piston for any signs of damage without stripping the engine completely. So let's have a look. I will just simply lift that off. First of all, I want to know, has this engine got any compression? Because if it's got no compression, it could suggest early that the engine's shot. So let's check this. First of all, we'll take the spark plug cap off. Even though the carburetor's not attached and it won't start anyway, we've got to get used to doing things safely. So we'll pull off the cap. And I'll now pull the starter cord and see if I can feel any compression. Absolutely, there's plenty of compression there. So that's one of my first checks, ticked off well. Next, I want to look at the internal parts of the engine and make sure there's nothing damaged in there, no score marks. This is just to put my mind at rest that the engine is okay. So we can see the exhaust there, it's loose on this one. So we'll turn it round to have a look and of course if the exhaust wasn't loose, I would still want to remove it to look inside the engine. So I'll pull the exhaust out of the way and remove the spark plug so I can turn over the engine freely. And then I'll shine a torch into the exhaust manifold and take a look at the piston. And when I pull the starter pull cord, we can see the piston moving up and down. And we can see it's absolutely fine. The piston and the ring has no score marks on it whatsoever. And when I pull it down further, you can see into the back of the pot there, and there's no evidence of wear or damage there either. So if there was score marks here at the front of the piston, similar to this, then it would suggest that the engine's got too hot because of a lack of oiling. And what's happened is, it's caused what's known as metal transfer. The transfer of the metal from the piston to the pot itself, basically trying to weld together because it's got too hot. So ours is absolutely fine. Although we've had a look at the back of the pot through the exhaust manifold, I just want to take a look at the piston from this way, being as the carburetor is off anyway. This is just to confirm that all is fine in there. So I'll move the carburetor out of the way. And again, I'll just shine a torch in there and have a look. So now I'll pull the starter pull cord. So we can see the piston moving again, up and down. And we can see it's going up and down nice and freely. And there's no evidence of wear marks on this side. Any evidence of wear on the piston this side would suggest a lack of good filtration of the fuel entering the engine. Because this is the side of the engine that obviously takes fuel from the carburettor. And if that fuel isn't well filtrated, then it can have an abrasive effect on the metal of the piston and the pot, causing damage and wear. But this, thankfully, is showing no evidence of that. So I've checked the pot and piston, and I'm pleased with them. Okay, so I hope you've benefited from this video and that you may use this simple check, even though it does take a little bit of work to do so. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back soon.